The 252 came because I had a job that was too big for just one MIG welder. We had the 181 and landed a large fence job. We needed to have both machines, two, two MIG welding machines running at the same time. I had the option of duplicating and getting another 181. I could have gone with another manufacturer, but keeping in lines of how I set my shop up, I wanted the versatility. So I went a couple steps over the 181 and we got the 252 to give me that additional amperage that the 181 doesn't cover, but still have the portability that the 181 offers. It has done everything we've wanted to do. Heavy, heavy duty bu bucket welding. Um, we have yet to hit the duty cycle on it. Um, thousands and thousands of TIG welds. We have yet to hit the duty cycle on it. The machine has gone out in the field and we use it in the shop. It's, it's got environmentally controlled circuits. It's impact resistant, vibration resistant. It's a solid machine for no matter what I'm doing. Some of the ad additional improvements they've made to the 252 are the uh, second gas solenoid input, second gas input, and the addition of the internal solenoid. They've also added a bunch of advanced features to this machine that they don't have over the 181. And it's thankfully we have Tom Ferry here today to help us out with some of these advanced features. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Hey, Tom. All right. Good to see you. Good. Yeah, the advanced features of the unit there, as you go through them, you know, we get the fact we can put a pre-flow in there. So when you're doing your MIG welding, especially on stainless steel, or when you get your spool gun for doing aluminum, you program in a pre-flow. So now, as you pull the trigger, you make sure you get a purge of gas prior to striking the arc. You get clean looking welds, nicer, smoother starts. We have our run-in speed, which is beneficial. Rule of thumb, less run-in speed for thinner material, more run-in speed for higher material, heavier material. The wire shop feature is, is one of my favorites. This isn't a feature that you find on most welding machines that are out there. And this is a feature that when you finish up your weld, you let go of the trigger, sends a little micro burst of energy to the end of the wire, just to blast that little ball off the end of the wire. And as in most other welding machines that are out there on the market, the welder has to manually cut that little end of the wire off to eliminate that ball. And by doing so, you get a better arc start the next time around. I love that wire shop feature there. This, this happens a lot. We have a, a job in the shop that we're currently using the MIG gun and something else comes in, say a thinner gauge stainless like this job right here that's on the bench. And so what we'll do right now is we'll switch the machine from, the take the 252 and switch it from the MIG process to the TIG process and we'll go through that right now. It's, it's just that fast. I switch, I gotta take the positive lead off of the, the terminal there move my ground over, connect the TIG torch, I use shielding gas, mm -hmm. tighten that down, and this is the final connection. This is the controller inside the torch. These Thermalark 3-in-1 machines give me one platform that does a variety of processes. So for a small guy like me, or a growing shop like myself, to be able to buy one machine that'll weld four different kinds of metal, it saves me a ton of time and a ton of money. I don't have to have three different kinds of machines to do the job that this one machine will do.